Dave here, and today I'm going to be showing you another awesome card trick and tutorial. This is just another mind-blowing trick. Spectators are going to be confused, and I think you guys are just going to like this one, so I'm not going to talk too much. I'm just going to get directly into this pretty cool trick. So now, I've been practicing this pretty cool trick with the four jacks lately, but there's, there's an issue with the cards. Like, something is wrong about these cards. Like, let me show you. If I go through these cards, you'll notice that one card is like it's different from the rest. It's 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 a tally hole back. I'm like something's wrong with the color there. I'm like, why is it a tally hole back? Like something is just isn't right there. But like, look, it has like practice. Like if I do it again, check this out. If I do it again, then the next jack is has a black back. Like again, the, like something with the colors is just not going right here. I just don't see what's going on. So I figured maybe I'd try counting it uh, again. But again, I'm just getting now a blue back. Like, are you are you kidding me right now? Like, this just now this doesn't make sense. Because I have one blue jack, and I have three red jacks. Like, this just doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I just really don't understand this. Okay. Okay, hold on. This has never happened before. All of a sudden, I have a ghost back. Okay, you know what? Something is just terribly wrong with the colors of these jacks. I really just don't get it. Because now, if I take a look at all of these jacks by themselves, they're all different colors. <sighs> Alright, whatever. I don't understand that. <laughs> well, anyways, guys, that was a quick performance. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So now let's get straight. Alright, guys, so we'll just stick around for the tutorial. So, you're going to need a few things to pull off this trick. So, let's just dive right into this. I'm not going to talk too much at all. You're going to need a jack... Of again, any color you want doesn't really matter. Get another jack, any color doesn't matter. Get another jack, any color doesn't matter. Now, I know you guys are probably wondering why did I use a card that's that doesn't contrast at all. That's because unfortunately, I don't have a lot of decks that have the same um, faces. Like, for example, like if I could have used maybe like my jack of clubs or my contraband deck, but the jack of clubs in a contraband deck is not. A standard bicycle jack so the jacks will look different and that would make your spectator um suspicious like all of, like the faces they need to look the same so that's why the only one that I had that looked different was a tally ho jack which unfortunately yeah that's why the colors didn't contrast as well but if you have another color that contrasts grab any other color you want and then of course you need a red back jack for this trick so make sure you have a red back jack and all the other jacks can be any color you want them to be then, you're going to need another card. Another red-backed card. This is a random card. It doesn't mean anything. Just get a random, indifferent red card. Then, what you're going to need is another red card that has a different back on the other side. So, you need a double backer that's red on one side and a different color on the back. Now, this back cannot be the same as any of these three. So, basically, you're going to have three matching you're going to have three matching cards. You're going to have one red back jack, one red back random card, and then one double backer that has one red back and then one in different color back. And then all the other ones could be different colored back jacks. So that's pretty simple. So now this does require a bit of a setup here. And by the way, guys, if you do not have a double backer like this, and I actually did not have a double backer like this, so what you're going to do is, is you guys can see this is two cards. I just took some scotch double stick tape and I just sticked the two cards together just like that. So here's your setup. Your setup is going to be the random card, the double backer, make sure your, um, what do you call it, the indifferent color back is up like this. Then it's your red back jack and then you can take the other indifferent color jacks and just stack these up however you want. So, from this angle, it looks like this. From this side, it looks like this, just to give you a better view. So again, this is your setup right here. So now, you're going to have the cards on the table. You're going to spread the cards out. Hold the cards nice and firmly so you can show the four jacks. And just be careful not to flash any of those cards over there. Otherwise, that would be a tragedy. So just show the four jacks and square them up right away. And say, tell the story about 
how you've been practicing with the cards and something is just wrong with the colors and stuff like that. So, you'll go through and now you're going to want to do an Elmsley count here. Now, if you do not know how to do an Elmsley count, I'm going to go over it brief briefly right now. Okay, so what I do was is I set all the jacks to the side for now and I just grabbed four red cards to give you a demonstration on the Elmsley count. Now, again, I'm not going too in-depth with it. I'm just doing giving you a brief overview in case you don't know how to do it. This flight will take some practice, just so you know. So either rewind my brief overview a few times or click on the link in the description below and that will take you over to an Elmsley count tutorial that I've seen someone do it and it helped me out personally. So the Elmsley count, basically, you're going to just peel off the first card. You're going to use your thumb to push off the whole pack, just like that. Then you're going to, as you grab that pack, you're returning that first card to the bottom. And then counting these two cards off. So again, peel off the first card, push off the whole pack with your thumb, grab that pack, return that first card to the bottom, and then peel off the two cards. So in full motion, it'll look like this. That's an Elms account, basically. So that's just a brief overview, but now let's get back into the actual trick. Okay, so now that we're back into the trick, you're going to take the jacks and just do the Elms account as I showed you. So you go one, two, three, four, and out jogs the different color card and say, you'll notice something is wrong with the color and then just explain what color it is or whatever. So you can see that one jack is different from the rest. Now you don't want to point out you don't want to point out what suit it is, only because if they focus on the suits of the card, it can be a little suspicious as the trick goes on, and I'll show you why in a minute. Because the next one you're showing is the Jack of Spades. And here's what you're going to do. You'll say, okay, you will take the card, put it under the Jack of Spades, and just square everything up. Now, when you do an Elmsley count, the fourth card should be the Jack of Spades. Or when you count off the cards, it's the fourth card should be the Jack of Spades because the spectator doesn't know you're doing an Elms account. But since you're doing an Elms account, the third card is going to be the Jack of Spades. So if the positions switch, obviously it might be confused, confusing to the spectator. So don't talk about the suits of the Jacks at all. Just talk about the colors. And you could say, but now if I go through the Jacks again and just count like this and out jog the different colored card and say, you'll see once again, the next Jack is now black. So, th again, this is impossible to the spectators because now all the cards are red, but one jack keeps changing color every time. And just keep saying, something is wrong with the colors. I just don't know what it is. Put the jack of spades under the jack of clubs. Pick up the whole thing and put both of these cards under the jack of hearts. Turn everything over. And now do another Elmsley count showing now there's one blue card. Or whatever color you're using again. Say, uh, But once again... We have another color. Again, something is just wrong with the colors. And as you're doing this performance, sound confused as you're performing. Sound like, what is going on with these colors? This doesn't make sense. You get what I'm saying? So now from here, flip over the jack. Say we have one blue jack and we have three red jacks. Now push over these two red cards and just be careful and make sure you keep this squared up because you actually do have three different cards here. So just make sure you keep that as squared up as possible. And so we have three red jacks. Now what you're going to do is, is you're actually going to do a triple triple lift. So that these two cards that you spread out, what you're going to do is a switch this grip to like a middle grip right here. You're going to put your pinky right there. And you're going to square up all of these cards on the pinky. So now you have a pinky break on those three cards just like that. So you could say we had that blue jack with all the red jacks. This just doesn't make any sense. And as you say that, just take the cards and flip them over as one. And be like, wait, what? This just doesn't make any sense. Like, this cannot be. Again, you're just acting surprised as you're doing the performance. This can't be. Now I have a ghost back, or again, whatever color you're using. Something is just terribly wrong with the colors of these cards. Now from here, just flip the cards over. Count, just do hold the cards a bit of grip, count off the three jacks, and then put this packet on top. This is actually three cards right here, so again, just make sure you do not flush any of the cards behind it. Just hold the cards nice and firmly, but don't do a word suspicious. Just hold the cards firmly and try not to be too suspicious about it, and then just show 
all the colors are different. And again, hopefully you have cards that are a little more contrasting than I do. And then when you have, because when you have more colorful cards, it makes it look, look a little more presentable. But obviously I don't have a huge color variation, so that that's why I get stuck with these. But holding the cards nice and firmly. And then if you want to set them on the table, you can, again, just be careful. Otherwise, those cards can sneak up behind there. But anyways, that is the basic idea of the trick. And quick recommendation, once you're done performing this trick for someone, take these cards, put them away immediately. Put the cards away and then move on to your next trick because you don't want the spectators looking through these cards. So yeah, that is a pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. I know it might be a little complicated. As long as you know the Elmsley count, though, and you pay attention to the setup, you should be perfectly fine with this trick. So, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure to leave a comment below, like this video, and of course, subscribe to the channel. We have 78 subscribers still. I'm still striving for that first goal of 100 subscribers. So, please hit that subscribe button and make sure to share the video so more people will know about my channel. It would be much appreciated. And... If you want to learn more about my subscriber goals, then you could check out my about section on my channel to learn more. So yeah, not much else to say. So um, when it comes to magic, follow your dreams. I will see you guys in the next video. Cartrix 8 signing off.